America to be able to work less for the government and more for themselves. It's a wonderful time to be alive. Let us be shy no longer. Angel Song and Mercury. Back down. Somebody's got to say it. We will the real conservative truth lives here. This is the final closing time factor. Video commentary thoughts. And there he is. Uh, there's an amazing. Hear this? It's it Jennifer Hudson sings this. We'll always love you. Now you know the rest of the story. <laughs> she can blow it. She, she's good. Yeah. Anyways, that, that means we continue this tribute to you know who, Whitney Houston. And uh, like I said, she's da she's dead uh, about the, at the age of 48. And that's why she is the biggest uh, music musical icons I ever seen. But did you notice that? Um, uh, let's see. Oh gosh, I, I hope I know what I'm doing. Oh yes. According to ABC News, about, uh, you don't want to know about this one. About this, uh, Whitney Houston tried to. Reveal this uh, if the pre prescription is drugs contributed to uh, Whitney Houston's death. Well, guess what? Diane Sawyer from ABC News explains this because you may not go like this at all. Take a look and watch this. It will blow your mind. Whitney Houston is on her way home. At this moment, a private plane carrying the body of one of America's blazing stars back to the church in Newark, New Jersey, where it all began. Her funeral expected there later this week. She started as a choir girl with a voice that rained out holy fire, becoming the supernova who would break the sound barrier again, all the while battling her drugs, her alcohol, and her fear. So, what happened in the end? ABC's Jim Mabel is with us now to tell us what we've learned tonight about how Whitney Houston died in that hotel room at the age of 48. Jim? Diane, Beverly Hills police have put a hold on the autopsy results and refused to release the 9-11 tapes, the 9-1-1 tapes of the call from the Beverly Hilton Hotel here. But, but they have allowed the coroner's office to release Whitney Houston's body to her family this weeks before any kind of decision on the cause of death can be reached. The L.A. County coroner released Whitney Houston's body today and she is on the way home to New Jersey on a private jet. The autopsy complete, fluids taken for toxicology reports, but results not expected for at least eight weeks. And while sources tell ABC News there were no signs of trauma or foul play on her body, no visible trace of illegal drugs, there were prescription bottles in the bathroom where Houston was found in the tub. And as seen in these photos obtained by TMC, alcohol in the room, both champagne and beer. Still, that's not enough evidence for medical examiners to declare a definitive cause of death. No matter. Wait a minute. Now, uh, let's back up here. Now, do you see this? This is a, a tablet. This is a drugs. Drugs and uh, and she's uh. And this is what happens inside, uh, and she's uh, buried inside the tub. This is ridiculous, and it's, and um, TMC always report this with uh, champagne and beer and all that and all that crap. So this is re absolutely positively ridiculous for information. Oh boy, this is very silly. This is this is this is ridiculous. <laughs> Keep on going. The medications they're taking until we run a tox and see the level and what's in the system, we're not going to speculate. At the Beverly Hilton Hotel today, the singer's entourage moved out. Sources tell ABC News many are being questioned 
about Houston's last hour. But police insist this is not a homicide investigation. At this time, we're conducting a death investigation. And we need to be very clear about that. We do not know the cause of death. We don't know the circumstances leading up to her death. Here's what we do know about those circumstances. Thursday night, Whitney Houston danced and partied at a Hollywood nightclub. Pictures show her sweating and disheveled. Oh, One my goodness. Night, Friends say she was drinking champagne. Drinking champagne. Friday, seen skipping around the Beverly Hilton lobby. Somersaulting at the pool. Again, her clothes in disarray and her hair wet. As she awkwardly interrupts a press interview conducted by E. Tony. Okay, I didn't She looked bad. Her clothes didn't match. Some people said she smelled of alcohol. On Saturday, Houston talked by phone with her cousin and godmother, Dionne Warwick, and her mother, Sissy. And minutes later, she went into the bathroom to prepare for a performance scheduled for the music business elite at Clive Davis's pre-Grammy party. She died alone. Her body what? was covered by her entourage, submerged in the tub. She was not breathing, she had no pulse, and could not be revived. Oh my god. This is worse. Now how do you... Can't be serious, died in a pool. Oh god. Conclusion. 24 hours later, the music industry she once dominated honored her at the Grammys, an award she won six times. And even today, after her sudden death, seven of the top ten albums sold on Amazon.com are hers. The police and coroner's investigators do know the types of drugs that were found inside the bathroom, the prescription drugs, including Valium and an antibiotic. What they don't know are the levels in her body, and that, of course, is key. That's oh, jeez. This is... Now, how sad is that? Found drugs, sweaty in a... I like getting, getting inside the bottom this this weekend on my Time Factor radio show. So it's, so it's my television show as far as we're concerned. This has got to be outrageous. You wonder why she admits she she admits to you to, for for drug use. This is very stupid. Oh, it's because of death, drugs. Last performance at a nightclub. This is ridiculous. But what it is for this up, autopsy of Whitney Houston's death. And, and you know, she's going to be in a funeral with, with her family in, a, in Newark, New Jersey. I don't know if the funeral was set to attend, and I find out what it is. Well, be the judge of that. Oh gosh. Moving right along. Hate to break this to you, but it's worse. Anyways, here's a here's a ridiculous question for Valentine's Day. And I uh you know the just, just for a moment. Like Valent Valentine's Day. Yeah, this is with oh yeah I know. Yes, Valentine's Day. Did you know that um is a anyone's could be a sweet romance for Valentine's Day? Well, if you have a gift, you know at the if you if you have a date, if you have a husband, don't you think women want is the old question about communicating uh, on. And everyone just just be a bad eco economic thing. Here's a here's a sort of survey for you. According to Fox News, 72 percent says of women wanted a day from housework or childcare. 14 women want a special plan for dinner. Wow. Nine percent want uh, uh, women want a gift. Might be a flowers. Some flowers, chocolates, a uh, wedding ring, if you're married. 
and finally, 5% of women want sex? This is what I was, want sex? For Valentine's Day? Well, well, as for men, don't even struggle. If you be a queen for a day. And uh, as, as for you women and men, say what you mean. Say what you want to say if the Valentine's Day gift of queen for a day it appeals, appeals to you, you can ask your mate and uh, on a dinner date. Well, it, it will surprise you. If you don't ask, you don't get it, don't think. Don't you think? Well, could be uh, <laughs> sometimes to remember that you should buy some uh, weird chocolates and all that sweet gadgets and uh, well, and don't you think a word stalker for Valentine's Day is a, is, is a psycho side of love? And uh, everybody goes overboard into obsession for Valentine's Day? Well, you should do that. When you go out on a date at a time like this, unless you want to, well, That's fine, fine with everybody else, but you and you and you, you. That's right, you men and you women, or want to make love each, to each other and have sex for Valentine's Day. Please don't quit your day, day job. It'll, it'll be nice to know about this one. Well, <laughs> so much for that thing. As far as we're concerned. Anyways, just want to make sure that give you advice for Valentine's Day. So that's all. So have a great Valentine Valentine's Day for tomorrow. Oh, should I should say tomorrow. Oh yes. I bet it's today's Valentine's Day. Is on the fourteenth. Oh yes, it's on the fourteenth of Valentine's Day. So I just just curious. Ne enough said. Anyways, just uh, just curious. Just to let you know. Let you know about that. Anyways, don't forget to Facebook me and follow me at Facebook.com slash LH Music Time. So it's Twitter.com slash LH Music Time. And check my website, LH Music Time Factor, factor .weebly .com for the LH Music Time Factor website. And why? Because the real conservative truth lives here. Now, tomorrow, this is going to be worse. Catholic Church again. Well, guess what? Cardinal Donald Ruhr of Washington. This is the scene this uh take a look at this guy. How serious serious is, is that? Contraception stands up and trying to testify about the Catholic institutions as the White House and indicates it won't revise its proposed accommodation any further. You'll be the first to know tomorrow. I do say so myself. And don't forget, oh, oh yeah, don't forget Friday. We're going to have some fun. Just about that. Anyways, we got to go. LH Music, America's lovable football Christian conservative, is signing off. Go with God's blessings, and I'll see you tomorrow. And as always, have a happy Valentine's Day. Please, make love less. Trust me about that. Don't have to. Uh, Never mind, I won't say it. Anyways, take care of yourself. Go with God's blessings. Bye-bye for now. Happy Valentine's Day. See ya.